Hi Taurus, welcome to your today's love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Taurus, please bear in mind that this reading will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay Taurus, let's get your reading started. Just give me a moment. And we're going to find out how does your person currently feel about you. Spirits and angels, please show me. This card fell on the floor. Please show me more. Taurus, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be you or your person you are thinking about or dealing with. Uh, Taurus, your person actually feels really good about you with the sun here um, and with the Wheel of Fortune in hopes for a second chance perhaps because the death is in reverse here. So I feel like Taurus, they didn't realize how lucky they were to have you in the past. And now they really want to um, revive this connection. Something could have happened in the past. I feel like mm, some truths could have been revealed to you. You could have seen something very clearly about them. But the Queen of Cups is here, Taurus. So they do have uh, feelings, emotions for you. And also I feel like they see you as somebody very kind, very compassionate, very beautiful. I do see the Queen of Cups as very beautiful very soft, very gentle. Um, and with the Ten of Wands here, I feel like Taurus, they are kind of suffering right now. They're, they're trying to hang on to whatever that is coming towards them or whatever they, that they have to carry, some sort of a burden here. It's almost like they're hoping that you give them a second chance with the Ace of Wands here. Um, hoping to reignite this connection with you. It is hard for them. It looks like they may need to put in a lot of work into getting you back into their arms. But with the Nine of Pentacles here, Taurus, they see you as somebody definitely, again, very beautiful, very graceful. The Nine of Pentacles always appear in your reading, and that's awesome. So you're somebody very self-sufficient, okay? And you've got your stuff together. You're beautiful, and, you know, actually you don't need them. So they feel like you don't need them, and you got your stuff together. And this is why it's even harder for them. And with the Two of Wands here, they see you as possibly being at a crossroad, trying to uh, make a decision here and looking into the future. Mm, also, I'm sensing making sure that you make, um, that they feel like you are sort of trying to make sure that you're doing, making the right decision, something about a decision here, possibly whether to take them back or not for some of you, okay? And with the Ace of Pentacles here, Taurus, yeah, they want this new beginning with you. They hope both of you could like start over, have this very solid new beginning. And if he offers you this Ace of Pentacles, again, one plus nine is 10. So they will feel like, okay, you know, uh, this will be perfect as in this will be complete. So they want to complete you in a sense. I know that sounds cheesy, but <laughs> they want to complete you. They want to have this new beginning, perhaps not really liking to see you being single. So they want to unsingle you perhaps because both of you may either be on a break right now or basically in a separation, but they don't really want to see you single. So they want to offer you this another pentacle to complete the nine. So it's 10 of pentacles instead. So building something with you, starting a family, getting married, taking the relationship to the next level. Six of Cups is in reverse, Taurus. They feel like you have very bad memories about something, about them, or experience, some experiences in the past. That I feel like something that was being revealed to you, okay? And with the Hermit in reverse, um, they feel like you're coming out of your Hermit mode. Mode, as in, it's um, for some reason, I feel like you may have been keeping quiet. There's a sense of gentleness about you, Taurus. You may have been sort of keeping quiet, suppressing your 
feelings or your sadness, but they feel that you're coming out of it. It's almost like maybe they think you're seeking for your own independence with the Nine of Pentacles here. Or that they feel you're starting a new beginning without them or wanting to. Hmm. And with another cups in reverse, and we've got the Eight of Swords here as well. Hmm. Taurus, I feel like they see you. I don't know why the Queen of Wands. I feel like this could be a third party. I'm so sorry I have to say that. Although I would like to say something else, but then in my heart, I'm just like, no, this is actually the third party, as in the other woman or the other man. They feel very stuck. Eight of Swords is here. Stuck when it comes to passion, desire. But if I'm going to just throw it out there anyway, because I do see another person here. But if this is actually you, Taurus, with the Queen of Wands, they do see you wanting to basically be in charge, be in your power, manifest your own independence. Mm -hmm. And we've got the Nine of Cups in reverse. They feel like you know that they are not sincere or they're not genuine with you. Three of Swords is here, okay? So they, they are heartbroken and they know that you are heartbroken. Either or, again, roles can be reversed. They don't think that you trust them. Page of Swords that you're constantly spying or stalking to see about another person. Yep, they're juggling between you and another person, another person with the Two of Pentacles here. Hmm. Or that they feel that you could be indecisive, okay? Or they are indecisive. King of Cups is in reverse. You know, Taurus, King of Cups in reverse is somebody emotionally unavailable or emotionally unstable. Somebody whom is, un, you know, sort of, it's very hard for them to fall in love or give their heart to somebody or invest their emotions into somebody. Let me see a little bit more. Nine of Cups. Yeah. So Nine of Cups, I can read it different ways, but I do sense that Nine of Cups could be self-indulgence or wanting their cake and eat it too. But Taurus, I feel like this could actually be your energy. They feel like maybe you want to, again, plan for your own independence. But this could also mean wish fulfillment. Maybe they are trying to fulfill their own wishes, but selfish wishes, that's what I'm sensing here as well. And the moon is in reverse, Taurus. Okay, so things are being revealed, obviously. I mean, they know that you know. They know that you know. Anything that they were hiding or tried to hide, they know that you know, okay? Three of Pentacles is in reverse. Either they feel like you don't want to compromise or that they don't want to compromise or not wanting to reconcile. Um, because it does look like there's, there could be a selfish energy here, but someone here is not wanting to continue as in to continue letting this person to have their cake and eat it too. All right, Taurus, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Carly, I am accepting personal reading requests. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. Um, if nothing else, hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting videos almost every single day lately. Take care, Taurus. Bye.